What's up everybody, welcome back. Today's video is brought to you by Dean's Dip. Yeah, it's good for dipping things into, but it's also good to marinate things into, like a cheese stuffed onion ring. Let's get on with the recipe. Maybe you've never made onion rings before. That's okay, it's pretty simple. You cut the onion this way, and then you pop out the rings and you fry them. But this is a Josh Elkin recipe. And Josh Elkin recipes are a little bit more refined and a lot more exciting than just cutting an onion and frying it. That's where the cheese comes in. Now the important thing about cutting these onions is making sure the walls are as high as the cheese. That way, when we fry these onion rings, the cheese is not going to melt out. Once you cut the onion into smaller pieces and then you separate the insides like it's a Russian doll, you want to separate the bigger ones from the smaller ones. Now a little bit of geometry comes into play here. You want to take a big onion ring and a smaller onion ring and put the smaller onion ring inside the bigger onion ring, leaving enough space in between the two to stuff the cheese. But I can't rely on these onions securing the cheese, so this is where the toothpick comes into play. Now the toothpick is going to secure the cheese with the two onions, but it's also going to act as a handle when we're dipping the onion and cheese into the dredging. Ah, the good old dredging stations. For the wet dredge, we're going to take some eggs and we're gonna combine it with Dean's French onion dip. Now the important thing to do here is to mix everything well so that there's no lumps and there's no yolks. That way, this liquid is gonna go inside all the little nooks and crannies of the cheese stuffed onion rings. And because I made this wet batter with Dean's dip, that means more awesome flavors of the dip. But the flavors don't end there. When you're deep frying things, it's very essential to season everything as much as you can. So, for the wet batter, I season the eggs with Dean's Dip. For the dry batter, I'm gonna season the flour with garlic and paprika. Now it's time to deep fry. First, you wanna coat the entire cheese stuffed onion ring in the seasoned flour. And before you add it into the egg and Dean's Dip wet batter, you wanna dust off as much of that powder as possible. Then, proceed to submerge it in the Dean's Dip mix. Once the cheese stuffed onion is completely wet and there's no dry powder or dry flour showing, you want to add it into the bowl with the breadcrumbs. Toss it around a little bit. Make sure that all of the onion is coated in the breadcrumbs, but don't worry. If there are areas of the cheese stuffed onion ring that aren't completely coated, put it back in the wet mix and then back in the breadcrumbs for a double dredge. If you double dredge, it's going to solidify the deep fry. What I mean is, any area of the cheese stuffed onion that hasn't been coated will definitely be coated in a second dredge. Now it's actually the deep fry time. You want to heat your oil to 370 degrees Fahrenheit. What kind of oil am I using? That's a great question. You want to use something with a high smoke point. A high smoke point means you could heat the oil as high as 375, sometimes 400 degrees, and it's not going to burn. If there's one thing you don't use, it's olive oil. In this case, when I deep fry, I use vegetable oil. You fry these bad boys for about two to three minutes or until it becomes crunchy and golden brown. Whoa, check this out. Mozzarella style onion rings coated in breadcrumbs, onions stuffed with cheese and made with Dean's dip. Let's test it out though and see how it tastes. Mmm, hot. All right, I'm getting everything. I'm getting that classic mozzarella kind of crunch. I'm also getting a classic onion ring taste, but I'm also getting some French onion Dean's dip style in there as well. But what if you make these and you want more of an onion flavor? Well, even though I made them with French onion Dean's dip, I could also dip them in French onion Dean's dip. Mm. Yeah, there you go. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you get to try out the recipe, but more importantly, I hope you get to try out some Dean's French onion dip because if you want something awesome to dip your chips in, or your carrots, or even just your finger, this is a delicious flavor. You can check out the recipe in the link description down below or hit up recipechampions.com where I publish one brand new recipe every single week. I got two more rings to eat over here, a half a tub of Dean's dip. I'm super excited, but most importantly, Hope you have a good day. Bye. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to become a recipe champion in your own home, head over to recipechampions.com for all my published recipes. You can learn how to make crazy things like Fruity Pebbles cheesecakes or even an Eggs Benedict burrito. Go check it out and learn how to turn yourself into a recipe champion.